करत करत अभ्यास के जन्म बहुत सुजान जिसे हिंदी प्लेस फ्रॉम रामचरित महाराज सेज दैट वो रस्सी से पानी खींचते हैं ना कुएं से तो वो पत्थर में निशान बन जाते हैं और करत करत अभ्यास के अभ्यास करते करते जड़मत की दोस्त सुजान जड़मत मीन्स दैट हू है वो डजेंट हैव ए कैपेसिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग ही डजेंट हैव एनी सेंस सेंसलेस कांसेप्ट बिकम्स अ वेरी वाइज एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल तो आप देखिए जो वैदिक स्कूल हुआ करते थे इन दैट वेदिक ट्रेडिशन ऑफ एजुकेशन दे यूज्ड टू रिसाइट even the dictionary lagu siddhant kaumdi they used to cram it that ultimately when they grow up the whole thing is lost and they become scholars kar 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 ye sab bade ek very bahut hi intellectual intellectual phases hain which are still relevant even up to hundreds and thousands of years bahut relevant तो अभी डॉक्टर भट्ट
in making molecules, especially the lower plasma, it is responsible for making good body fluids because all the filtration of body fluids are there and the middle portion is required for making food tea and the upper water is responsible for giving the final material <coughs> that is food tea, food tea, tea or tea. So this is triple warmer. What is triple warmer? Triple warmer is a mechanism which is installed in our body when we are <coughs> in the school. Right? If there are 10 things which we have enumerated that we should understand. The cheek, the blood, the body fluids, the shin and the essence. Plus the five elements that we move, fire, earth, metal, and water. What is an element in this What is an element? Element is nothing but not part. Stage. <coughs> because the process goes on in a well defined sequence. Right? So that is an element. Each element has a typical energy, a unique energy. And this energy again has many differentiations. It is a range of energy. Right? Generation of energy is the responsibility of five in organs. Distribution is the responsibility of all the ten organs. We have twelve important male meridians bilaterally installed in our body. What is very valuable to the normal energy meridian? What it is carrying on? They are carrying the pooled energy. We are carrying that energy which is generated by all this time and which is not exhausted, which is not used. That remains. They get collected and they only flow in pericardial energy. So they are responsible for what? Nervous system. That's why people call it brain in the same time. Nervous system is not in the pericard. And the endocrinal system. Short term changes, long term changes. And with short term changes, what else? The cleaning part. That is also taken care of by the energy flowing with pericard. Right? Then we have two vessels. One of the front in the center and the other on the back in the center. The conception vessel and the governing vessel. The governing vessel is having, what these vessels are having? They are having that energy which is not fully utilized. The energy, the original key, they are having the original key, portions of original key that is not utilized by the triple warmer. They are again classified into eight varieties depending on their different wavelengths, energy, frequency, orientation, etc. Correction, etc. And they are stored in our body, and which is again in touch with kidney, they are circulated. Because continuously, kidneys are transforming their sense into original key. And all of the original key generated by kidney is not exhausted by the normal. Then, whatever is balanced, that is stored in different vessels. If these vessels become empty, then they will be dead. So, and these vessels will give you the energy whenever they want, whatever kind of energy. And a skilled acupuncturist or pressurist, he can always draw energy, he can tap energy from any vessel of any kind, what kind of energy you want. So, whole energy of original key is divided into eight, right? And that can be sent into any meridian. So there are so many points, these vessels. So their shape is not known to us. But many of the points are known, which are nothing but the points on different meridians. So this, these vessels are touching those points. Through those points, the energy can either come into the vessel or go out into the meridian. Right? So GV has a maximum yang of the original energy, original chi. And CV has the least yin, not maximum, least yin. Many of 
you will find that C V is the maximum mean and G V is the maximum yang in all the study materials and many people are teaching. But I have proof to it. I'm giving you a logic why this is maximum. So this we did. Then we did all the tell the uh, meridians partly we saw. Now we know we saw some important points also. These are source points, distal points, variety points, the group points, and lower points. points. And we have seen element points. These element points in three meridian you will find five element points. So 12 meridians, five points on each, so they all make 60 commands, they are also called 60 command points. How are they? Where they are available? They are available above the elbow joint and below the knee yeah. joint. And because all types of energy, energy related to all kinds of all these stages of life and all these stages of the process is available on the hand. So there is a possibility that all kinds of ailments should be served and solved through Hello. But here there is a lacuna. What is the lacuna? I have just mentioned, I have given you explanations and I have not given you the remedy for that. But the lacuna is that why if some energy is coming out, say from an part of the liver, then it, why should it go in a tunnel only? The energy can flow and proceed in many, many ways. I give you an example. And it should go in many directions. In fact, it's a three-dimensional body. And the maximum growth is vertical. Therefore, it is very obvious that first of all, the vertical gradients will be traced. Because more frequently the energy is traveling vertically. Therefore, we are going vertically maximum. So those pathways which are vertical have been seen and identified by Chinese words. But then we also grow laterally and we grow on sagittally. So the energy must have travelled horizontally and must have travelled sagittally and all must have travelled spirally all along the width and length and width of the body. So such meridians and such pathways and all otherwise whatever is the energy, the components in these directions must be traced. And that's how BG meridians came into existence. And that was from India. Now, you. Right? Last training we discussed BG meridians. And you have it in this course. But and next time, you know, if you meet for advanced courses, we will also see these origin elements pattern meridians again. By that time, it will be more mature. It is still in infancy. The BG meridian it is still in. In fancy. In fact, it was only in 2011, October that they came to this. So, <coughs> all this we did. Then, uh, um, today uh, we wanted to show you um, um, one thing. Uh, you see, while in the mother's womb, all the nourishment and all the energy of the mother which we can use, it was made available to us for installing that little wall work by virtue of which all the energy is paid so that our body can function through placenta and that was attached to our nervous system. So there is also just above the nerve there is a plex which is called celiac plex, it's the largest plex in the flex you understand flex huh? it's a combination lot of nerves they come together nerves means which are generating and conducting the electrical impulse by virtue of which any muscle will work right any work is possible only if we get this impulse, electrical impulse, electrical energy. Through nerves, they pass through nerves. They are generated by this and they are 
conducted their carrying from one place to another place. That is called nerve. So many nerves coming together, flexes. Two nerves coming together, or, or, or two or three ganglia. Many flexes. Cilia flexes is the large flex. Biggest, largest is brain. Mm -hmm. Largest flex is brain. And next to brain is cilia solar flexes or cilia flexes. Just below the diaphragm. This cilia flexes is connected to the mm -hmm. How they are formed? They are also formed by different nerves. Nerves coming from heart, nerves coming from backbone, nerves coming from the skin. Such nerves are come together and they have formed cilia flexes. While in the mother's womb, these flexes were, were formed in two portions on the left side and on the right side. In fact, the whole body is produced separately. The left side is produced separately and the right side is produced separately. And later they are joined, the left and right. This is the process in mother's womb. So even the solar plexus, they are half, half, and later they join to make it to sphere. And that's what we call it solar plexus. They make a circle like Later they support more or after the time? Even after the child is fully formed. Fully formed. Mm. The formation of the left and the formation of the right, they are going separately. And then they are joined. So that they won't meet. If it is only this side that they can come and meet. So it's going like that, that's going like that, they will not But this is the medical fact. Hmm? So solar plexus also are half moon first. And when you come out, so they are slowly they extend and they are joined. And then that becomes a solar plexus circular again, spherical thing. So that is joined with this name. Now what is happening is the solar plexus is the seat of generation and distribution of impulses. These impulses are going to different organs in your abdomen and also in the upper portion that is in the chest. So if this is disturbed, suppose this goes right or left, this goes down or up, or this goes diagonally up, right, diagonally up, left, diagonally down, right, diagonally down, left. So there are eight directions in which the solar plexus can move Actually, by and the solar plexus is situated just behind your cisterna chile have you heard of this cisterna chile is the root vessel for lymph it is just below the diaphragm in the center there is stomach glutenum and just behind just yes. Some people say it is Nabi. Nabi is this. Some people just want to say it is Nabi. Nabi. Why they say Nabi? Because it has a direct connection. There are points around the nerve which are connected with a small inside, deep inside wires, I mean nerves. Or maybe very deep. Some people say slightly left over to this. Uh, yes. Some Whatever it is directly connected to Nabi. So we call it Nabi. And there, Nabi is very small, solid thing here. Yeah. If you put your here, yeah, you, you can feel the pulse. Why pulse? Because the descending order, this descending order comes here and bifurcates in two branches. And it goes, passes here. The main branches passes one from this side, the other from this side. And so as the heart is pumping, so you feel the pulse out here. Like you feel the pulse here, similarly you feel the pulse inside your nerve. But you should try to feel it only when you are empty stomach, especially in the morning, to see whether the navel is in its place. If the navel is in its place, that means the ciliac plexus is right in its place. If navi has gone here and there, that means this has also 
God has an entire village. Right? If this is a, what, is, what is the function of this plexus? Distributes. It generates and distributes for the autonomic nervous system. Hmm? Automatically, the liver is getting something, heart is getting something, the spleen is getting something, the intestines are getting some, uh, the reproductive organs, and everything is getting energy in order to work, in order to function. So they don't have to directly depend on every type on the brain. These plexus will take care, like brain will work. So this is also called abdominal brain. This plexus is also called brain. abdominal brain. Because this is functioning like brain, generating and distributing the impulse. And then feeling also. Ah, yeah. So, and this has a connection from top through spinal cord. There are some nerves from spinal cord which is here in the making of solar plexus. The solar plexus is made of nerves which are which have started from brain, touched some organs, spine, and then come here and then got different branches. So this becomes big here. Comes only three, four nerves from this side, three, four nerves from this side. Then it again divides itself into many branches so that it can reach everywhere. Okay, forget about that. So this we have to see. If it is not in place, then what will happen? You see, from one place to other place, the impulse takes time to reach. Right? In the process, if suppose it is towards, slightly towards left, then the impulses will reach faster towards left, left and it will reach a bit delayed impulses to right. So tension will be created and imbalance will be created. So we have to make sure that that is in the right place. Similarly, it is the spine. From the spine also, there are many nerves going to right and left. From front, one nerve to the back, from right and from one left. From back also, one is coming to right and one is coming to left. And these two together, they meet. They make mixed up. And that goes to each of our organs. And that's how the brain has connection with each of the organs. Okay. It is called peripheral nerves. The nerves which are coming out of brain and out of the spine and going out and meeting so many organs and parts of the body. They are called peripheral nerves. And the brain and the spinal cord that is called central nerves. Central nerves. They form the central nervous system. So they are also very important. Because maybe your organ is alright, it is not diseased. But it is not getting the electrical energy, the impulse. Therefore, it is not functioning properly and therefore you are falling sick, you feel that you are unable or some part of your body is not able to work. So you should ensure that the impulses are right, are generated and after generation it is distributed properly. How will you do that? There are mixed nerves. Just by the side of your spinal column, you have between every two vertebrae. Uh, there is a pair of nerves from right and there is a pair of nerves from inside and they come and meet how it is you know these are basic things which we should know so if this is your call right or maybe So, the information from sensory nerve will 
go like this and up. And the motor now come like this, come like this, and you go through this. <coughs> so what we have to ensure that supply is proper. So what should we do? We should give pressure on all these points. So that we clean the pathway. Even needles you will find. You can put needles. You can have the gloves out, make the patient light, and then you can put needles. This is very important. And it is specified from where we say all these mixed nerve points are nothing but the points of urinary bladder barrier which is on your back. Right? So you will find that on urinary bladder there are points for every organ of your body, all the can. And even very valuable one, that is where it is. There are 12 points which are called back shoe points. The points of urinary bladder on your back which are right location wise on that junction, mixed nerve junction. Right? They are also needed. Suppose whatever be the problem, whatever be the problem, first thing is that you ensure that the pulses are generated, distributed properly. So what do you do? You put the needles or you put mutter on all these points. Open the shirt, whatever the disease, even rheumatoid arthritis, open the shirt, put the mutter. Every day. And if you cannot put the mutter, just give pressure for a minute or two on every point. Half a minute or maybe 20 seconds or 10 seconds. 10 seconds on all point. Meaning three pushes, one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one, two, three. If you want, I shall show you. Have you brought the mat? This is called a spine treatment. So even if you get this spine treatment every day, in a month you will be a changed person, whatever be the disease. Because nervous system is the controller of all systems for all short term things. And endocrinal system is the boss of long term and are you getting it so even for anything muscular dystrophy cancer any damage and especially those things which are connected to the nervous system those things for that it is wonderful and both sides of the uh, i shall show you if you want if you have a map i can have a person here lie down and show you how to give the treatment practically you must learn yes. Are you doing all this anything? Are you doing you doing this spine treatment? She is doing it so she, she can show. We call it spinal massage. Okay. Oh. Basic, basic. Basic, It's the most basic thing which you know. Any other, any other, you are also doing it? You are also doing it. Are you doing it? You, you are doing it, you are not doing it. You are doing it. Come, you come. You come. You come. Before I give you this, 